in Ohio. I e went from everybody, to welcome to another uh, welcome to another episode of fantastic interviews. We've got Jonathan, and Jonathan is literally the closest person with this little uh, setup here to the Pacific Ocean. So you're uh, at the edge of the continent, and what are you up to today? Okay, so uh, I've been homeless on and off for 10 years, and I've been uh, desiring to fix my life permanently, and I've been, figured out that I need to start my own business, which is gonna be bicycle rental. Okay. I started one last season here in PB with 2,000 bucks, bought 10 bikes, I quadrupled my money, but the uh, weather was bad, so I just didn't go that well, and I shut it down. So this season, again, I'm trying to uh, save up two grand. So how I'm going to do it, I did a, a legitimate landscape tear out, and they didn't want this massive aloe vera mountain. So I've had about 100 of these this size. So my goal is to do the donation hustle, where I say, um, you know, the smaller ones are free, but I save these for donators. And I picked up some pottery on sale at Rite Aid. So I'm dropping them in the pottery and, and asking about a, a $20 mark. And so I should hit my mark of $2,000 between my recycling hustle and this within uh, three days or so. It's fantastic. Thanks. Now those plants will live out, outside the water for a long time? Yeah, they've already, succulent, right? yeah they've already been out of the uh, ground for a week, but a lot of them that I have are more rooted. And this was all one big mountain of aloe vera in uh, somebody's front yard that they paid me to tear out. Right, right. So it's not like I went around. So you got a people. bonus. You got a bonus. Yeah, a well, tip. I gave them a low price just to get it because I always had an idea. I used to do mobile car cleaning in L.A. And I went to Home Depot one day and saw the succulents were like $40, $20. And I know all my clients had this shit overgrown at their house to the point where they put right, it, right. it in the trash. Right. So I was like, well, I can just get that and just turn it immediately into big cash there you so go i used to sell weed and stuff like that and instead I, my joke is i went from selling weed to selling weeds <laughs> and i'm making way more money that's you because this is 100 percent free and illegal and it's pretty legal and what is that plant there oh this is like a fire bush thing so with this it's a succulent as well so i'll be able to break off these branches and whatever size i want put it in some pottery or if someone hires me to do a landscape i'll break them all off do an assortment of aloe vera, uh, succulents, these, I got some purple succulents, cactus. So really, uh, what I'm trying to do is this whole overall collective called OG Organized Giving. Right. And whether it's recycling or aloe vera hustle or whatever it is, bike rental, I'm trying to um, prepay for homeless dwellings. So with the recycling or with this, I'd like to get up $30,000, prepay rent, bills, food, and salary, for four people to live for about six months or a year in a place, share a place properly, and basically their work would be go out and clean up litter on a grid, you know, do a couple blocks here, do a couple blocks there, just to stabilize them and and put it all up front, because all the situations I've had where people open their door, the door closes immediately over potentially small issues. So once you have the peace of mind and you're off the streets, it really takes three months to get better, another three months to become normal, and then you got to be working steadily and living steadily for the next six months, call it a year, to where you're in a position to go blend in with the world. You can't just, uh, I've had a lot of beats with people about, oh, go get a job. Well, when I was doing a legitimate job off this, when I got hired, all my property that was on the sidewalk, all my clean clothes I just did, three suitcases of stuff I collected that was of value, it got thrown in the dumpster by the city because I'm not allowed to have property on the sidewalk. Right. So that's the beef, why homeless people really won't go and get a job because the little that they have left, they're trying to protect. And they, even if they got hired, you really can't even show up with a backpack while you do your interview and stuff like that. Right. So it really, honestly, that I found to be a hindrance. And um, I got a bunch of felonies and stuff way back when. So I just really don't uh, participate in uh, attempting to get a job. Because if, if I did, even at four... Well, five, you're like an entrepreneur, though, which is yeah, nothing wrong I'm with working. that. That's a mis yeah, you're that's working. That's a misconception. You're doing... And all the other homeless people I met in Ocean Beach... They all want to work via getting people's recycling, but it's it's uh, illegal technically. So they're always battling over there collecting recycling, but people want to give them a hard time, but then they want them off the streets, but then they can't get money and food. So it's, it's like a vicious a, circle. Yeah. Jonathan, we're running out of time here. Thank you so much. Be fantastic. Go do something. Get off your ass. Go clean your neighbor's sidewalk. Trim some bushes and make some money. Anyway, I'm going to go. You're seeing it. What's the date today? March 27th? I'm going to be a billionaire in 120 days from today. I'm starting with zero dollars. So Fantastic. look out for me. Fantastic.
That's fantastic.